it's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. to jackpot two race number five at 1620 it's over 1000 meters it's a low e division handicap for the fillies and mares a merit rated 67 and uh, let's have a look at the betting at the time of recording number one gimme the flame is at four to one number two capriana at eight to one we then have three kindies fate at eight to one number six magically at six to one Number nine, Vision of Will. We're still awaiting a jockey on that. That's at six to one. Ten, New Orleans at five to one. And 11, Poppy of Bayou at seven to one. I am going to declare at the top of this preview that it is a field race for me in the pick six. I'm taking no chances here. Couldn't narrow it down to six runners. So if it's more than half the field, it is the field. And that's what we're going to play in the pick six. And for that bet, we'll hope for the worst results. But I think the obvious horse when you're looking uh, for a roving banker and trifectas and quartets uh, looks to be horse number 10, New Orleans, for Carl Hewitson and Malisede Kacheri. Does have a wide jaw to overcome, but a horse that's really holding his form well, threatening to win, having placed at his last one, two, three, four starts, uh, two of them having finished in that second position. And I think you'll get a, a, a good solid run for your money. So he looks like the, she looks like the hiding roving banker in the race, uh, number 10, New Orleans. Uh, of the balance in this, in this Phillies and Mares, um, uh, you know, low E division class, nice to see uh, Heather Adamson uh, traveling down to KZN with her filly number one, uh, Gimme the Flame, who I respect on that last start behind Berengaria. And those Cape, those Gauteng form lines have certainly worked out well. Capriana, she was in open company last time out. She's got a good draw. She's back against her own sex. I think she'll run well. I see Kylie's fate is very low on confidence, and uh, she just has uh, issues at the pens, uh, number three, Kylie's fate. But if she's on song, would she be a surprise winner? No, she wouldn't. Six Magically is having a first start for Gary Rich, and I see they've engaged the services of Keegan DeMello. Uh, she used to be a very speedy sort when she used to be with Kumar and Naidu. Uh, Vision of Will, we await a jockey. I think that could be a nice pickup ride for somebody uh, in the jockey room. And then Poppy of Bayou, number 11, uh, with Sean Vilap, does have a wide draw to overcome. I don't think there'll be much that will separate herself and Capriana on that last start. So a very, very difficult race. Uh, this race spells quartet for me. If you can try and get it with the minimum spend, I think you'll get some proper cash here and you'll get a decent return on your investment. The roving banker, the obvious horse, horse number 10, the daughter of Water Winter, New Orleans. <music>Betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.